not we we have sung this song so many times that we have become the song now so it would be unusual for us to sing a di sing it a different way so it's nice to hear somebody that can sing it a different way with uh and, and feel really comfortable with it, you know. I mean, I, I couldn't sing it, and I don't think, Russell, you could sing it. We couldn't sing it this way because it's <laughs> it's out of our generation for a start. But it's just nice to hear a, a different way of doing something, which tells you that you can do something that's already there. You can breathe new life into it, you know, if you have the right mindset and the right tools. I agree. Whatever that means. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I agree. Because uh, some, uh, sometimes there are artists who like really, I mean, the intention is there to come up with a, a fresh take on the song, but sometimes they veer away too much from the original. So it doesn't sound the same already. But yeah, uh, good job to Chris and Inigo for doing justice with All Out of Love. Let's take a quick break from the song. I just want to ask Graham and Russell, how are you surviving this pandemic? Where are you guys? What are you? What have you been doing? Well, I'm in Los Angeles and um, we've been off the road now for 10 months. We just started some new shows in Florida last weekend and we're back again on the road in April. So it's going to be another month and a half before we get to do something. And uh, we live for the stage and the road, so it's been very difficult for me uh, because I don't write songs. Graham does something every day, creative. I watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, have you been writing all all these? Yeah, times? I write every day. I, you know, I I also write musicals, and I just wrote a new musical that'll will be coming into the world in in June. Uh, but I, I think on this break I wrote about for uh, forty songs, you know. Yeah, I, but I write every day, and I have done for over fifty years, you know. So I'm, only four. Yeah, so I'm kind of it's it's my life, and you know when I wake up, that's the first thing I think about after I've had a cup of tea, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I like to keep busy, and I also. Uh, got back into playing piano you know I have a, a big grand piano in my studio and for a long time I I was playing synthesizers and guitars but uh, on the last few months I've been writing all my songs on the acoustic piano which has been really nice because it's got my uh, it's got my dexterity up a lot more you know I'd lost a lot of it but now I'm back and I'm I'm enjoying playing the grand piano again which is uh, a really great thing for a songwriter to keep to play. I know it's very easy to get uh, get trapped in the synthesizer world, not trapped, but to 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 play that. But I I chose to ignore that for a moment. In fact, I haven't turned my synthesizers on for 12 months. I've been playing piano the ho every day, and I've re I've really enjoyed it. It's been a, a different treat for me, you know. Wow, wow. Thanks for sharing that, Graham and uh, Russell. Chris, how about with you? I, I don't know if you agree with me, Chris, but okay, so pandemic happened, everything slowed down, filmmaking industry, television, but music went on, right, Chris? Yeah, at least recorded music. Um, I mean, there are challenges, right, for people who need access to a studio, especially in the early days, right? That was limited. Um, luckily, with the tools available now, you can you know, a lot of it you can do on a laptop. Um, right. yeah. That said, I mean, there's the, always the danger if, if if you do everything in the box, that's what it's called, just all software, it can sound like software, like digital, right? It doesn't sound real. So um, you have to, there's certain uh, plugins and stuff that you can use to make it sound more analog and then using real instruments helps. But uh, point being that you, I'm, I'm fortunate that my studio is in, in my home. So it didn't, if anything, my productivity went up because I didn't have to leave anymore. I could just work, um, which is all I really want to do. Yeah. How about you and I'm sure you can relate, Graham. <laughs> yeah, oh, certainly. Can I ask a question, Chris? You know, normally when it's not in the pandemic, do you work, uh, you obviously produce other things, but what kind of music do you work on when you're not in the pandemic? I'm curious. Um, 
pretty much all of my time goes to producing for the label um, for different artists. And Ego and I have okay. a lot of songs together. So the sound is, uh, it's kind of like current pop, I suppose, but in yeah. uh, branching in different directions. I try and put um, an island flavor to it because, you know, we're on an island. So a lot yeah. of hand drums and whatnot, but it's kind of kind of like what you heard in the remix. Yeah, yeah. I really like, in particular, I like the way you play guitar. You, I don't know what you would call it, but you, you're kind of sliding a lot of the notes around. Yes. But it was yeah. really cool. Yeah. And it, it's almost, it reminded me of when cellists play the cello and they slide it up and down. It becomes very emotional, very passionate. And I, Thank you, you obviously did that on purpose, which, which I thought was I really effective. I did. I, I did. A, I did a few takes, and um, you know, the one that was the most emotive felt like the fit best, so I went with that one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, very cool. The guitar sounds were so clean too. <laughs> yeah, that's if you believe. I mean, I, I played it, but all the the processing is all software. There wasn't even an amp involved. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I when I'm uh, when I play live, I I use a fractal now too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which, yeah, because really... you have access to so many sounds that way, right? Just yeah, each, each yeah. Presets. Yeah. That's great. Well done. We should, have, Thank we should you. have arranged a live session today. I mean, like Chris doing the guitar <laughs> and Nigo singing, so that Graham and Russell can watch you guys perform. But uh, yeah, I'm going to Nigo for my question. What did you do during this pandemic? Uh, well. Uh, I just actually just got back to Manila from the States. I was able to visit my family, but um, with work, you know, I was able to work on, on some songs. Actually, I'm, I'm grateful for Tarshu Records, you know, despite everything going on, the pandemic and all, um, we were able to release a lot of the songs that we were able to work on. And we were even able to record All Out of Love during the pandemic. Um, and, you know, we're still writing a, a lot of stuff and we're finishing up and getting ready for the release of the full album, which comes out very, very soon. Okay. And uh, this question is also from Tag91.1. How does it feel that it seems like Graham and Russell is passing the baton to you to uh, sing uh, All Out of Love for the next generations? It's a crazy feeling, you know, I can't even, I mean, I can't explain how it feels, but just to have them here and to be able to have, you know, like this, this um, thing that we're doing and to be able to talk to them is just crazy to even think of you know for me as an artist and as a human being you know it's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity it is, it really is. And, no pressure anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, big shoes to fill. I don't think i could i could live up to it but you know it's it's a dream uh for me to just even do something like this you know as an artist you're like the anointed one <laughs> yeah can I, I just add in from the bottom of my heart probably nigos as well thank you for your yeah, kind words it and a lot for it really, oh. it's something I'll never forget. So, great. oh, that's job. great, very kind, great words, Anigo. Now, yeah. Anigo, you you make movies too. You're an actor, aren't you? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, cool. Have Have you made a lot of movies so far? Um, I've I think I, I've done four or five films so far. Yeah. Wow. What What do you like better, music or films? <laughs> um, music, music for sure. Music. Oh music. yeah. Yeah. No, I'm curious, Graham and Russell, have you tried doing movies on the side? No, I, no, I'm a terrible I can't actor. Act. I can't <laughs> act. No, not my thing. <laughs> so Inigo is like our crossover guy, you know, from movies to television, to music. <laughs> he's That's trying great. His, yep, he's trying it all. Um, Chris, there's a question here also from Tag91.1. What made Tarsier Records venture into remakes of Air Supply classics? Um, well, I hinted that I earlier. Mentioned, yeah, I touched on it earlier. Um, beyond that, beyond this specific project, um, I think that in general, another one that we remade last year is um, Marry Your Daughter by um, Brian McKnight Jr. That was... Um, is, it was a huge hit here, right? In like 2012 two, or so. Um, and that was actually just a demo that leaked. Um, it was a one take demo. So I linked up with Brian Jr. in LA in 2019 and uh, we agreed to do a remake. Um, and it was done really well. It's still doing really well. Um, so I kind of got to thinking like, this could be a thing for us, you know? Um, and if you think about it, Filipinos are really, they love covering songs, right? Like right. we love singing karaoke, you know, 
it's so it's kind of a natural thing. So it's something that I hope we can keep doing with songs that resonate here, um, you know, timeless songs. Um, and I think Air Supply is a perfect example of that. Right. Uh, down to our last question from Alan Sancon of Stars Photog. I think this is for Graham and Russell. What can you say about the talent of Filipino singers or performers? Well, as I well, said before, everybody in the Philippines can sing without a doubt. And they have great voices. I've been to hotels in the Philippines and went down to have a, a cup of tea in the bar and heard people sing on stage in, in the lounge. They're all awesome. And obviously, uh, the journey thing is the biggest thing, in my opinion. The guy sounds like Steve Perry, even better. So that's a testament to, to the vocal prowess of the Filipinos. Yeah. Ham? Well, I mean, Filipino people are, are, are legend for their vocal ability and their musicianship, you know. And uh, at every single one of our shows, Everywhere, doesn't matter where it is, if it's in um, Boise or Barcelona, uh, there are always a large contingent of Filipino people at every single show. And Russell and I say to each other, yep. "My God, where do they come from?" You know, <laughs> but they're there. The Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say earlier, the... <laughs> but it's, it's pretty much incredible. <laughs> It's incredible, you know, that they're there. But, uh, you know, Filipino people, I've never seen people that can sing so well and so often. That's the truth. Yeah. Uh, everywhere you go, you have Filipino yeah, was, singing. Any, anywhere in the world, any cocktail band in the world, there's probably one better <laughs> Filipino. That's, that's something that I always... Yeah. yeah. But that's a great thing, I think. Yep. And speaking of... Uh, this is not part of the program, but I just messaged Inigo. I asked him, "Is it okay if I ask you to sing uh, a few lines <laughs> of Man. All Out of Love live and he gets, in, in, front of, in front of Air Supply?" <laughs> yeah, sure. You're Put me on the spot. I know that's okay, why um, Inigo went on mute and rehearsed for a few. Yeah, seconds. I was like singing the bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing the chorus. All right. Oh yeah, Inigo, please welcome everybody. Please, Inigo for everybody, happy happy Valentine's Day. Um, yes. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I know you were right. Believing for so long. I'm all out of love. What am I without you? I can't be too late to see that I was so alone. Wow. Okay, let, let, I want to say something now. When You know all that beautiful vibrato that you just sang? Yeah. I, I thought for sure Chris had done that in the studio, but you, that's your natural voice. That blows my mind. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank what you. a beautiful, beautiful voice you've got. And the vibrato is so natural. You, you, you've been given a great gift. And I hope throughout your career, you share it with the world. Thank you, you know? so much. And I, I know you will. It's really beautiful. Really well fabulous. Said. Yeah. Yeah. Thank awesome. You. Inigo, you are now the third member of Air Supply. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> On that note, let's please invite everyone to stream your song. Let's start with you, Chris, first. Yeah, guys, um, please uh, check it out. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, all DSPs, everywhere you can listen to music. It's on YouTube, on the Tarsia Records YouTube channel. Uh, just search All Out of Love, search for Inigo, search for Moops. Uh, you'll find it. Chris, thanks for doing this project. And, you know, uh, we all enjoyed it. And I'm sure we're very excited to hear the rest of uh, the Air Supply classics that Tarsi Records will be releasing. Inigo, uh, your turn. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, thank you so much, Air Supply. I mean, Russell and Graham, thank you so much for being here with us. And to all the press, everyone who's uh, in here right now, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. MJ, it's for MJ. Marai, marai, salamat po. And to the whole team, Tarshu Records, thank you so much for making this happen. And I want to invite everyone, of course, to please support um, All Out of Love, my latest single under Tarshu Records. It is out now on all uh, digital streaming platforms. And also, please do support uh, the uh, their show on the 14th. It's going to be at the 15th here in the Philippines, guys. Love letters, yeah. Love letters. Cool. 
and and everybody support an ego because we know where you live <laughs> <laughs> Graham uh, what do you want to say well it's been a great evening thank you for inviting Russell and I um, it's great we've now got two two new fabulous friends with Chris and Anigo and we hope we keep in touch and uh, we'd love to work with you both in the future and you know everybody listen for Anigo's all out of love and watch our stream on February the 15th and for more details about love letters their virtual concert on the 15th here in Manila go to airsupply.com there you go guys thank you so awesome. much Thank Russell, you, gentlemen. Thank you, honor. for joining us, Chris. Thank you, Inigo. Congratulations you so uh, on this project. Before we go, let's have a quick photo op with the rest of our friends from the press for a Zoom photo. All right. So, um, hi everyone. Thanks for the cameras if you want to join. Thank you everyone for joining us today.